All right, guys. So uh, I think we figured out the mysterious clunking on the, uh, the Lancer Oz Rally. Uh, I was looking at the uh, sway bar bushings and the sway links. They are just, uh, they're gone. I'll take you guys under there to show you what I'm talking about. Just ants on the ground, man. All right, so right there, we're looking at the sway bar bushing. You can see it's just cracked all the way around. And then up there, that bushing's probably no better. And then under there, there's probably nothing. Eh, it ain't bad. And then we got the sway link, which is, the bolt's gone. I mean, there's no bolt there. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one in the top. Yeah, so that's just banging around in there. That's all the noise we're hearing. So, we'll, uh, get those replaced. Um, just got this side taken apart. I got most of it done. Uh, I've already got most of that installed, but I'm loosening the bar so it's easier to put that on. So I got to do the driver's side now. I also got the bushing in there um, that goes that holds the bar. These bushings for the front sway bar, and uh, there's some info on that. I'm not sure if one of those is the part number. It's an AC Delco. Got it on Parts Geek. But yeah, I'll go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna throw it on a time lapse, take that wheel off, get the old uh, old hardware out of there and get the new stuff on. So let's go. the bushings done the sway link bushings the, the sway bar bushing back there that was extremely hard to get to I uh, already got the tire back on this one but all the links are in there I'll see if you can I'll be able to see them but yeah all new hardware and then the new bushings back in there that one was pretty easy so the passenger side's a lot easier to do the driver's side is a lot more difficult yeah uh, I'm gonna get the wheels back on and uh, yeah we're pretty much done here but I'd like to thank all you guys for watching the videos and uh, taking the time to like and subscribe and comment